we got the 2020 MacBook Air today, which came not turning on, not responding, completely unresponsive. So let's connect the charger and see what's happening. So this is our little multimeter, which tells us how much current it's pulling and if it's communicating with the charger. And as you can see, it's stuck at five volts. This should go to 20 volts. And the one below is the current, how much current it's pulling should be about uh, 0, 0, 010, basically more than 100 milliamps at 20 volts. So we're not getting that. So clearly the machine is not try trying to turn on it at all. Let's see what's going on. So we have a couple parts which are connected to the motherboard, obviously the battery, trackpad, and, and the audio and power board. Let's start disconnecting them one by one. Let's see if there's any difference. Same. Let's disconnect the audio board. Choose the connector for the audio board. Let's see if anything changed. Oh, we're pulling some current. 17, up, oh, rebooted itself. Try again, 20 volts, 0 0.17. So this should be turning on stage now. Do we get anything on the screen? Oh, beautiful. Excellent. So board is okay. Most likely we have some issue with the audio board. L let's connect the trackpad back and make sure that we el eliminate that. Trackpad connected. We're gonna get the same. Awesome, 14. Keeps restarting on this socket. Maybe we have the dirty socket in. Let's try on the top one. Okay, stable on the top one. We turn it on. Seems like we're turning on. It just uh, from all those attempts of turning on and turning off, the operating system is not feeling happy. That's okay. Let's concentrate on this first and see what's going on with that one. So at least we know that um, we, we managed to concentrate only on this part. So something's going on with the audio board. So let's take it out and go under the microscope. Let's see what's happening here. You can actually quickly. Uh, we're gonna quickly me measure one of the main voltage lines to see uh, how is the current there. I mean the internal resistance. So we have one. these are voltage lines. These ones are filtering capacitors. So we have a uh, short circuit between plus and minus of these filtering capacitors. They're connected in series and you can see how the bottom left one has cracked. Usually such crack can happen when there's a consistent overheating within the system. And all of the new MacBook Airs, they do not have fans anymore. So, yeah, there's no natural way of getting that heat outside of the system. So it gets, gets stuck within and unfortunately uh, causes this ceramic capacitors to, to crack quite easily. Okay, so we're done with this. Let's uh, fit it back and test. Okay, let's connect the adapter. 50720. 36, beautiful. Let's see if we get anybody on the screen. Okay, the connector is there, the cursor, yeah, all those restart attempts, obviously corrupted the system, so just reboot it, should load up, okay, beautiful, loading up, there you go, excellent, 
all functioning. And we, we also heard the, the loading sound, so we're good to go. Another successfully repaired MacBook with IT solve. If you need a service, feel free to get in touch. Thank you guys for watching.